Governor Simlaye Fubara of River State says there is no going back in the state local government council elections, insisting the elections will be held as scheduled by the River State Independent Electoral Commission. Fubara made this known over the weekend when he received scores of people who defected to the People's Democratic Party at the Query local government area of the state. According to him, preparations were at the advanced stage to hold the elections and he asked party members to work at the unit and ward levels. The governor said time was right for everyone to join him in the PDP, adding that all new members will have equal opportunities in the state. Let me start with you, Nze. What is your take on the story? Uh, it is just uh, very nice. I thank God that uh, Governor Simla Fubara mm -hmm. is beginning to take a bold step. And um, he is doing some certain things uh, just to impress the masses, the people of River State. Uh, you see that uh, several people have come from the other, from the opposition angle to uh, kick against the conduct of the local government election, which they were promoting earlier when they felt they were having grip on the structure. To kick against it in what way? Yeah, that it will not hold. You know, some people are in court. Yes, Tony Okocha group went to court to stop it and all that. And I begin to wonder, it was Tony Okocha and his... Was uh, he kicking against it? Against October 5th. Not hold. Yes, that it will not hold. Or he was questioning the procedures and... Which procedure? Hold on. And okay. meeting him, not extending an invitation. You know, when we said called the meeting of political parties, Tony Okocha came out to say that an invitation was not extended to his party, considering that APC is the major opposition party in the state. And he faulted the RISEC procedures and already said that by that action they appear to be biased. And based on that, he went to court to probably pray the court to enforce RISEC, to make sure RISEC you know, follows the electoral guidelines. Uh, which electoral so guidelines? now, guideline? is, is he stopping the no, from, October from, 5th yeah, from his, his from his from his moves, from his moves. There are things, there are actions you will take that will tantamount to no as an answer. Because they say action speaks louder than voice. Yes, we understand their antics. We understand their plans to an extent. Who are they with? With the, with the masses. The masses, <laughs> the people I stand for. <laughs> now, you see, when he said that uh, invitation was not extended to him to or to his party. political party, yes. claiming that APC is the major opposition party, okay. who told him that APC has the highest number of uh, 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 members in River State, more than Labour Party, more than PDP? Can or even PDP is a ruling party. Yes, a ruling, ruling party. Mm. But I know that from the, the result, the authentic, the original result of 2023 election, we see the Labour Party flood APC. Do you have the register of the political party? No, I mean, I don't have the register you know, of the political party. But at least, members. at least, based on what we saw on the results sheet, we are the results the sheet that is, that, is, that is available you, to you us. Cannot, you cannot say that, if, you cannot judge the, uh, the population of a political party by elections. So hold, on what, hold, hold what, on, is the, what is the yastic for to, uh, Tony Okocha is there, hold on. to you, claim that the APC is, is the major? Hold on. Okay. You cannot judge the membership of a political party by elections that were held in the state. Yeah. Reason is that even people who do not belong to political parties came out to vote for people they wanted to vote. You which, agree, which means you they have sympathy. Me. Which means they oh, have sympathy for on. both the candidate Mize, and the, the Mize, political party. Mize, you you will have your say. Okay. But let me clarify something and then ask you a question. Okay. You cannot judge the membership of a party by elections. That's a very wrong yastic to use. And I am asking you, are you privy to the party register of these political parties to know the number of members? each political party has? Number one, you said that my judgment is not a better yastic. Number two, if I am privy to the... You know the, 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 the number of registered members? No. You are not And Okocha to? too? No. Now, if Okocha made a claim as someone who is a novice to the number of registered mem members of a certain political party, he can only be sure of the APC, which to, to me, self, I'm sure he's not quite sure of that of APC because to a large extent, he swinged into APC midstream. 
he didn't start with them from onset. So at the point he came in, we knew he came in to fight. And he's actually fighting to justify you, his, you, uh, those you, who ever brought him. You cannot say but that the <coughs> of Okocha as a CTC chairman. CTC chairman who came from backyard. You cannot from say he did not. Hold on. You cannot say he's not privy to the number oh. of registered members in a party he was heading before the court. Now, let, let me prove you right. You can't Let say me prove that. myself right. All right. He came in and held to which whatever information he had that was available to him based on those who were around him. Remember, there was no official handover mm -hmm. from a Mecca Beke. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the list that is with a Mecca Beke remains with a Mecca Beke mm -hmm. and his group. Mm -hmm. The list Okocha came to see mm -hmm. could be the ones he gathered could, from, from a few you, people. When you say could... You've, you've relegated your statement to circumstantial. Circumstantial? Yes, when I have to. Because who, I can't, I can't say for sure. If you can't substantiate it, then you shouldn't even say that. But you know that he has come up to say, and you are putting him as if he you, is you as can, real. You cannot, you cannot say could. You, you have negated your statement. I have to. Singular word. I have to. Right, the reason well. I have to do that is because I have to put myself on a safe plane. <laughs> because I am, <laughs> remember, I told you I am not a, a lawyer, but coming to what uh, Governor Fubara has said, right. I commend him for that. Mm. And uh, if he will go ahead to hold the election in River State on October 5th, mm. and determine who stands as the, the uh, um, if I may say, the substantial chairman, elected chairman of local government in all the 23 local governments of River State, in order for them to carry out the good deeds of the CTC chairman now. I commend him. All right. Good. And I also encourage him not to be swayed by whatever oppositions all right. All right. are kicking against him. Mm. Whatever stone they are throwing at him, yeah, right. he should just go ahead and uh, carry out that election. Okay. Very well. Um, what do you have to say about this statement by the governor and the oncoming local government elections, Jackson? To, to me, the governor has spoken, but I've not seen the sign of uh, any possibility because uh, definitely the risk should have given uh, a certain date, and I think there's a stipulated period of time mm -hmm. that uh, notice of election would be given so that when campaign will start, when the primary election will be conducted, after primary election, when campaign will start, and to when the election will be held to when the swearing will be done. I don't think, for now, I don't think there's any political party that will be well communicated on to give me the notice of when the <coughs> primary elections will be held. Because uh, definitely the research must go there to witness whatever mm. that is happening. But at the same time, maybe I'm not private to all those informations because uh, I don't really have much uh, interest in the political labalu that is happening today in River State. So, but then, if the governor has empowered the research uh, logistically and every other thing, and they assured him that there won't be change in the date, and the governor hereby uh, send it to the public, I think it's okay. I wish him every best. No. So that I uh, be able to align the mm. state with the Supreme Court judgment. With the Supreme Court judgment. Very so I well. wish him every best. All right, very well. Now there are concerns. You you've also mentioned one of it, and that is the fact that people are saying, okay, local government elections are scheduled to hold, but so far people are not really seeing activities among political parties. You know, both primaries being held, who are the candidates for local government elections, are campaigns even happening across the local governments, no posters, no banners, you know, is, is, is there, are political parties, are their activities shrouded in secrecy at this point, or is it that nothing is even happening at all? That was, that was the reason why I spoke the way I spoke. Because we didn't want to hear much from the governor concerning local government election. We want, we like to hear from the research. And uh, hearing from the research means all the political parties 
will be notified. The date will be given to them when between this period and this period there must be primary elections. Between this period and this period <coughs> there will be room for anybody to appeal the conduct of the primary elections from this period to this period you have all the political party has the right to go public and begin to do their political evangelism in order to sell their candidates and all that thing. I've not heard all this. And honestly, uh, we are not expecting the governor to be the one communicating this to us. Okay. I don't think the president of the country will be the one communicating to us. That they are not going back on presidential are, elections. Yeah, the presidential election, governorship election and others. Mm. So we are not expecting the governor to do that. We are expecting the RISEC to be doing that. He is not the spokesperson for the RISEC. Okay. Yeah, so that is uh, exactly. So let the normal thing be done normally. All right. You want to say something to that? No, I think I'm okay with his argument. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay I'm okay. With his so argument. it's like we are doing the same. You know, he's a member of the masses. Yes. Yeah. Leko Ojo is a member of the masses. So somehow, somehow, we are speaking same voice. And what we are saying is what the generality of the people, the downtrodden, the, those who consider the citizenship of River State, or in fact, if I, yes, the citizenship of River State, not really indigenous but citizenship, this is their stand. So let the research chairman what speak you're to us. Is quite different from what Leko Joe. No, 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 no. How? Hold on. You are. Well, actually, you are not a lawyer. No, no. Hold let on. me let me see. Let me let me. I will, I will investigate you to know if you. <laughs> Interestingly, what Leko Joe is saying is um, actually different. Different How? perspectives of the same um, story. Correct. Leko Joe is saying that so far there are no activities and within the political ecosystem, within the political parties, to even intimate people that, okay, we are anticipating local government elections. Everywhere is just calm, you know, no activity so far from local governments. And then he also went forward to say that even if there is need to speak on the local government elections still going to hold, it's not the place of the governor to speak, it's the place of research to speak. However, you, on the other hand, you know, you applauded the governor for coming out to say this and to assure the vast people that elections were still going to hold. And then you took that opportunity to take a swipe at uh, Tony Okocha, you know, apparently for reasons best you known to you. Somehow you had to drag him into the conversation. So you can see that clearly. You, you, you told a very different path. Remember, I spoke, before, I, I spoke before him. <laughs> so when he came to speak and I brought into what he said, mm. like for instance, we are all in River State. There, there is no activities from the local, uh, from the political parties. All right. Isn't so, that isn't that concerning? Isn't that worrisome? No, 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 no. Why should it be worrisome? It's not worrisome. It is their business. They do their business the way. They, if they like to go low key, it is their is their choice. All political parties. If they choose to go low key, mm. that's their business. Mm. If they decide to make noise, that's their their business. Mm. So coming on the area of uh, maybe saying that governor shouldn't be the one talking to us. Remember the circumstance that brought about this. He went to receive defectors. Mm -hmm. And maybe, perhaps a question might be thrown to him. <coughs> he responded to that. And uh, on that, on that uh, note, he said what he said. But we also expect the research chairman to mm. be the one communicating to us. That's where I said that I align you, with you him. You align with him. Yeah. And